Hi and welcome to another quick video from me, Ed, at Are We The Baddies? And today I'm looking at this stuff, Mascol. I was introduced to this by another model maker a couple of years ago at a convention. And what it basically does is, well, here's a cheap one pound gun that I've just, I put Mascol on, I put uh, silver under it. I put Mascol on at, the, at certain points where it would rub off in real life. And the idea is that when you put the mask on and then you put another colour over it, once you rub it off, the silver, <laughs> this is so difficult to do, the original paint colour underneath, there you go, the original paint colour underneath is re-exposed, so it looks more. Okay. So the original colour underneath is exposed and it looks, well, one, like I said, this is just an experiment, just to see what it looks like. So I've put it pretty much everywhere. Okay, look at that. There you go. If it will focus. Just like that. Now, I did it on the other side. I did this colour, this side in um, a dark silver. I can't remember the exact colour and this blue, but on the other side I did chrome and red and I've already took that off, so that's what it looks like now admittedly all here is a mess but you get the idea of what it looks like, mainly up here let me hold that up so on the edges, the silver is just coming clean through as if it was naturally worn away like a well, like a tool you find at a garage or something I base most of these ideas on the really messy tools my dad has in his garage. But as you can see, see on the edges just up at the top? And just there, those edges there. Now I should have done every edge. Going right down there and along and along. Like I said, this is just a test bed. This is a cheap, really cheap little gun from the pound shop. Focus in. But it gives you a great idea of what it can do. Like I said I originally sprayed it. This one's a dark silver. Graphite, I think, is the colour. And then I put the stuff which is in liquid form. It's basically liquid latex. And you get a brush and I just dab it on in rather thick clumps, just on all the edges. And then let that dry for about an hour, then spray over it. Give that several hours, and then to get it off, there it is. That's how it comes off. Just once you've got a hole in it with a trusty cocktail stick, these are the best things ever for model painting for me. So what else we got? Yeah. Like I said, I'm just doing this nice and quick the benefits of YouTube and, that, and that's how the steel will come through. Now I could also achieve this which I also do with just getting a thin a flat brush and just going along the edges to give that effect but I saw someone else do this and thought oh we'll give it a go. You can see, see all the lumpy parts of the gun that's where I've put all the mask on like here really works well here on the edges. So it's really difficult to do around it. There you go. As long as it's not even, I'll get this piece in. As long as it's not even, that's a really good effect. See, not solid, not all the way through, just not consistent at all. And there's the bottom part that I left off. There's another part deliberately left off. Did I do it inside as well? No, I don't think so. I think I did. Yeah. This part here. Yeah. 
So just as a test bed, just to see what this can do. How about that? And the red you can see is the paint underneath with the mask on that I have. There you go, look at that. That's not bad at all, that. Not bad for a test. So there's some guys who really know how to use this effect on um, RP, uh, the RPF, rpf.com. And they really know how to do this. There you go, look at that. That really looks warm through that. Right, so I'll get the rest of this off and put pictures up on my Instagram later. I just have to do this video showing it and hopefully explaining how this stuff's really good. Like I said, just get it on a brush, dab it on, be prepared to either lose the brush or use a cocktail stick just to scrape it off the brush again. But basically, once you use it for this, you really can't use it for painting because this stuff just sticks in the bristles no matter what. So use the brush, dab it on in places, let it dry, spray it over the blue, and then just pick it off, and that's it. There you go. Thank you.